Alright y'all, I was in the middle of eating, in the middle of watching this Packers Seahawks game when I got the notification on my phone from Twitter and from a couple other apps saying that the Giants have hired their new defensive coordinator, which means of course that James Betcher is gone. And our new defensive coordinator is Patrick Graham, the former defensive coordinator of the Dolphins this past year. He was also a Giants defensive line coach in 2016 and 2017 and worked several uh, positions under Bill Belichick in uh, New England. So, first impressions, right? Well, first of all, I guess you could say is Joe Judge's uh, first big move and the first thing that came to mind when I saw it was he's from Miami and I didn't want any coach from Miami. The only coach I respect on the Dolphins is uh, Brian Flores because he did a great job with uh, that pitiful roster that he had. He had a great uh, season considering what the Dolphins were and considering the fact that they started off like what 0-7, 0-8. Everybody thought they were going to go 0-16 and he still managed to squeeze out five wins out of that Dolphins team. So I initially did not want anybody from Miami unless it was going to be Brian Flores and he had no reason to leave the Dolphins, right? But going back to the statement I just said, he squeezed everything out of his players. He did a lot more with his players than expected. Well, that also, some of the credit has to go to his coaching staff, and this guy was on the coaching staff. I'm still not happy about the hire, but doesn't mean um, I have any negative feelings towards the hire. Right now, I'm very neutral. I'm taking the same, the same stance I took with Joe Judge. I'm going to just, you know, reserve judgment for now, because he could turn out to be really good. He could turn out to be really bad. We'll see how it goes. But this does fit in line with what Joe Judge said he wanted. He wanted to uh, get players and not worry about what they can't do, but worry about what they can do and try to get that out of them as much as they can, as much as he can, as much as his coaching staff can. Patrick Graham kind of fits that model if he did indeed have a great deal to do with how the Dolphins performed down the stretch. Um, now, that's not to say that the Dolphins were any kind of good defense at all. No, they were probably the worst in the NFL. Which is, once again, you know, it's everybody that's worried about this hire has good reason for the worry. You know, they were like 32nd in points allowed, 30th in yards allowed, 29th in yards per play. The turnovers were 29, passing 26, running 27th. You could go on and on and on. And they ranked like last in the league in allowing sacks. So the Dolphins were straight up probably the worst defense in the league. Doesn't mean he's a bad coach. We've seen this before. I said it in the Joe Judge hire video on... Um, you could be a bad coach one place and be a good coach somewhere else. You could be a bad coordinator, be a good head coach, vice versa. Maybe you just, all you need is a change of scenery, you know what I'm saying? Maybe all this guy needs is a change of scenery. But he does have a uh, good background. Not a great background, but he does have a good background, much like Judge did coming in as our head coach. He's 40 years old. He played at Yale. He played D-line, graduated 2002. He was the defensive assistant coach with the Patriots from 2009 to 2015. That's around the same timeline of Joe Judge when he initially came up with the Patriots and then he moved to New York right here with the Giants in 2016 and 2017 where, where he was our defensive line coach and if there's one thing I gotta say everybody knows our 2016 Giants defense was one of the best in the league they may have overachieved a little bit yes but they were still one of the best defenses in the league and that was because of the defensive line so he was the one that coached those guys up that's something good to look at at his background and in 2017 when we went 3-13 and 13, the defense wasn't the problem it was their mentality. They played amazingly in the first half of every single game, but they gave up by the time the second half came around because the offense couldn't do anything, which, you know, you could argue about whether or not you could blame them for that and whatnot, you know, the mentality of giving up. But the defensive line was not the problem in 2017. And then we scrapped everybody. We got new coaching staff, James Vetcher, Pat Shermer, and all that. So, you know, once again, there's, there's good things and bad things to this guy's resume, or not to his resume, to, you know, just him as a coach. And after uh, he was our defensive line coach, he went to Green Bay as a linebackers coach and a run game coordinator. So that's actually a pretty good mix of things right there, uh, coaching the linebackers and then coaching the guys that you got to stop as a linebackers coach. And then finally, he got to Miami as a defensive coordinator this past season. So like I said, the resume is good, not great. Definitely leaves leave a bit head scratching. I'm going to come back to some reserve judgment, but my honest opinion is I didn't want anybody from Miami. And for the coordinators, both offensive and defensive, I wanted somebody a bit older with more experience and more success in the NFL because I believe no matter how good or bad Judge may be, he's never been a head coach before and he would need that experience on his staff, you know, his two main guys. I, I, I wanted somebody like Wade Phillips or someone with similar experience around that. And we didn't get that here. Maybe he doesn't need it. 
maybe he does need it. We'll have to see how it runs down. I personally just wanted a more experienced defensive coordinator, someone with a better, you know, more successful background. Um, and like I said, this this hire kind of points to what he was saying in the press conference about versatility and getting the most out of his players. It also points to, um, I saw a tweet by Alex Wilson, he's a giant speed reporter, I'm going to put it up in here, that I very much agree with. It also points to, you know, he's looking to hire guys that he's familiar with, which there's nothing wrong with that. Of course, you'd want to work with people that you worked with before. It's uh, sometimes very bad to work with, you know, complete strangers in a sense, because he knows that these guys are probably really organized, really hardworking, they're uh, diligent, they're smart, they're tough and detailed and all that, and so maybe Graham is all this. So right now, I mean, the short reaction video, my initial thoughts, this could either be something good or something really bad. You know, he has good background on him. But once again, working with the Patriots at the height of their powers, you, I guess you could say at the height of the evil empire's powers, working with the Giants for the one year we had a great defense and the year afterwards that we collapsed. So that's something to look at. And then working in Green Bay, which in 2018, the Green Bay Packers defense was not very good at all. And of course, in 2019, the Miami's defense, Miami Dolphins defense was probably the worst in football. But putting into context, they weren't a great defense going into the year and they became worse and worse throughout the year because the front office traded away every single piece known to man. Yet they still managed to squeeze out five wins out of these guys. So we'll see how it goes. I can definitely see it going either way, just like with the Joe Judge hire. Let me know what you guys think because I'm honestly very split on this. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out. You're... Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...